Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel. Friends, we will see the important points for exam. Today's topic is recommended daily intake of energy, protein, iron and calcium. And we will see the recommended daily intake for our 0 to 6 month age group. Energy requirement is 9200 kilocalorie per kilogram and protein intake is 1.1 to 1.2 gram per kilogram and iron requirement is 150 to 300 micrograms and calcium 500 milligram this is for 0 to 6 month and next is for 7 to 12 month age group energy requirement is 80 kilocalorie per kilogram and protein is 1.7 gram per kilogram and iron requirement is 5 milligram and calcium is is 500 milligram for 7 to 12 months of age group and 1 to 3 years of age the energy requirement is 1000 to 1100 kilogram kilocalorie and protein 16 to 18 gram and the iron requirement is 9 milligram and calcium is 600 milligram for 1 to 3 years and next for 4 to 6 years energy requirement is 1300 to 1350 kilocalorie and protein to 20 to 21 gram and iron requirement is 13 milligram and calcium requirement is 600 milligram this is for 4 to 6 years and next 7 to 9 years energy requirement is 1600 to 1700 kilocalorie and the protein requirement is 30 gram and iron requirement is 16 milligram and calcium requirement is 600 milligram next is for 10 to 15 years boys and for boys the energy requirement is 2100 to 2700 kilocalorie and the protein requirement is 40 to 55 gram and the iron requirement is 21 to 32 milligram and the calcium requirement is 800 milligram this is for 10 to 15 years boys and next we will see 10 to 15 year girls for energy requirement is 2000 to 2300 kilocalorie and the protein requirement is 40 to 52 gram and the iron requirement is 27 to 30 milligram and the calcium requirement is 800 milligram. This is for 10 to 15 years girls. So next we are seeing the energy requirement of adult energy calcium iron uh, requirement of adult we can see okay for adult the energy requirement of adult male for uh, light workers it is 2400 to 2500 kilocalorie that is normal work doing person and for moderate workers it is 2700 to 2800 kilocalorie and for heavy workers it is 3500 to 3600 kilo calorie for heavy workers and this is for males and next for females the energy requirement is for light workers 1900 to 2000 kilocalorie and for moderate worker for me female 2200 to 2250 kilocalorie and for heavy work of female it is 2700 to 2800 kilocalorie and for pregnancy it is plus 300 kilocalorie and lactation 550 kilocalorie that is for light worker means light worker plus 300 kilocalorie lactation light worker plus 550 kilocalorie like that and for calcium requirement for adult it is 600 milligram and pregnancy it is 1000 milligram and for lactation it is 1000 milligram and the iron requirement for adult 18 to 20 milligram and pregnancy 40 milligram lactation 30 milligram Two, three related questions we can see. First question, the nurse is teaching a client who has iron deficiency anemia about foods she should include in her diet. The nurse determined that the client understands dietary modifications if she selects which of the following from her menu. First option, nuts and milk. Second option, coffee and tea. 
third option cooked rolled oats and fish and the fourth option orange and dark green vegetable dark green leafy vegetables so here already uh, the patient who has iron deficiency anemia so anemia we should give orange and dark green leafy vegetables why the patient is having already the patient is having uh, iron deficiency anemia so she should take rich source of iron so dark green leafy vegetables are good sources of iron and orange orange is vitamin c vitamin c enhances iron absorption so the option four is correct next question a nurse is planning to teach a client with malabsorption syndrome about the necessity of following low fat diet the nurse develops a list of high fat food to avoid and includes which food item on the list so here the patient is having malabsorption syndrome we will see the options first option orange second option broccoli and third option cream cheese and fourth option broiled hack dog here the patient client with malabsorption syndrome should take low fat diet the and usually the fruits and vegetables tend to have low fat because they do not come from animal sources so they are low fat and boiled hack dog is also naturally low fat that is type of fish which is also a low fat diet so cream cheese is high fat content that should be avoided by the patient so the nurse should advise advice to avoid cream cheese which is high fat diet next question a nurse is conducting a dietary assessment on a client who is on veg diet the nurse provide dietary teaching focusing on food high in which vitamin that may be lacking in veg man diet options are option first vitamin a option 2 vitamin b12 option 3 vitamin c and option 4 vitamin e here the client is a veg diet he is taking purely veg diet if a veg person which do not consume any animal product that is he is lacking of vitamin b12 and the correct answer is vitamin b12 vitamin b12 is found in animal product if the person is consuming purely veg the vitamin b12 is lacking in his body so we are, we are getting vitamin b12 from veg product only so we should advise them to consume vitamin vitamin b12 rich diet if he can able to do